So actually how I discovered it is back then, our, our house didn't have a piano, we had a keyboard. And you know how sometimes on keyboards you can the have demo. them play music? The demo. The demo. So I heard this piece and I was thinking, what is this music? And that's how I started wanting to learn it. And another secret for those of you who are learning music young, learn as much music as you can now because believe it or not, when you get to my old age, you actually don't have to practice these pieces anymore because they're so in your brain. They just, they just stay there forever. So learn as much music as you can now and uh, it'll always be with you. You know, that keyboard story, I also had a keyboard growing up and it reminds me of a sibling story. We had a demo and my sister and I weren't very dedicated <laughs> pianists. So we would often try, but we learned one of the de we learned one of the demos, and we would often try and trick visitors into thinking that we were really playing. <laughs> and we were very good at fake piano playing. So <laughs> uh, Brian, over to you. What what music has inspired you with the cello? What's something that uh, is sort of like in your roots as a cellist? Well, I was and still am a very impatient person, and so when I started playing very young, I wanted to play all of these fancy, advanced pieces that I saw all of my older student friends playing. And uh, one of those pieces was uh, The Swan by the French composer Camille Saint-Saëns. And I also fell in love with it hearing a recording, uh, one of the very first CDs that my parents owned when they were students. And uh, this is a piece that's uh, been with me for my whole life. And a funny story is, I, before playing this cello, uh, a few months ago, uh, I was playing another cello, which was made in the year 1696. This one is made in the year 1699. And the other cello actually played the premiere of the, the Swan, if you can believe it, in uh, 1900. So oh. more than 120 years ago. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll play a bit of it for you now. Or maybe we'll play the whole thing. The Swan. <laughs>
that's a piece. I've heard it before. Have you heard it before? Some of you have heard it before, yeah. But maybe it's a piece that musicians don't always play live because, I don't know, it's cliche or something, right? It's everywhere. What a treat to hear it. Talk about making you feel something. Hearing a piece, or uh, I've lost the ability to speak. Hearing an instrument truly sing. The two of you are, whoa, goosebumps, goosebumps. Okay, this is a really cool segue. Thank you to both of you for thinking of this case.